someone who was at the Kobe and Gianni crash site and had photos only because these pictures were a part of the investigation decided to share these graphic pictures that were supposed to be sealed or whatnot. Some sources say that they are not exactly sure whether it was one of the first responders on the scene or a deputy or who shared these photos, but Fox News claims that LA deputies actually shared it. And actually, the source who let them know said that he saw one of the photos on another official's phone in a setting that had nothing to do with the investigation. So in other words, he most likely took these extra pictures just cause. Hmm. Some rumors even claim that the person who initially shared these photos was trying to impress a girl that he was seeing that he got exclusives or whatnot. And y'all know once someone shares a picture, it's liable to go viral at any time because that person will most likely share it with another person who will share it with another person and another person who might publicly post it. Y'all know how that goes. So they will basically be available forever at that point. Even if they're legally taken down from online or whatnot, people still have them in their phones, which is disheartening. Now, keep in mind that it was a high impact crash that descended at 2,000 feet per minute as it went down. So these photos not only include debris, it also includes the remains of these victims which obviously weren't in one piece. So to share such is completely immoral and disrespectful. And Vanessa Bryant, who was still mourning her husband and child who was only 13, is completely devastated. So without further ado, let's get to the public statement that was made on her behalf. Her legal counsel took to her Instagram and posted the following message. Our client, Vanessa Bryant, is absolutely devastated by allegations that deputies from the Lost Hills, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and Los Angeles County Fire Department publicly disseminated photos from the helicopter crash site. Mrs. Bryant personally went to the sheriff's office on January 26 and requested that the area be designated a no-fly zone and protected from photographers. This was of critical importance to her as she desired to protect the dignity of all the victims and their families. At that time, Sheriff Alex Villanueva assured us all measures would be put in place to protect the family's privacy. And it was our understanding that he has worked hard to honor those requests. First responders should be trustworthy. It is inexcusable and deplorable that some deputies from the Lost Hill Sheriff's substation, other surrounding substations, and LAFD would allegedly breach their duty. This is an unspeakable violation of human decency, respect, and of the privacy rights of the victims and their families. We are demanding that those responsible for these alleged actions face the harshest possible discipline and that their identities be brought to light to ensure that the photos are not further disseminated. We are requesting an internal affairs investigation of these alleged incidents. Mrs. Bryant is grateful to the individual who filed an online complaint exposing these acts of injustice and for the choice to protect human dignity. We ask that anyone else who has information as to the facts underlying these alleged grievous and shameful incidents contact our office at 816-474-8080 or via email robrob.com. Wow. Now, since we're on this topic, Vanessa Bryant has also filed a lawsuit against Island Express Helicopters, Inc., the owner of the helicopter in the crash that took the life of her husband and daughter, and accused the company of hiring pilot Ara Zobayan with the conscious disregard of the rights and safety of passengers. Hmm. The lawsuit accuses Zobayan of being negligent in several ways, including canceling the flight, failing to keep a close eye on the weather, and failing to keep a safe distance from natural obstacles. Bryant also noted Zobayan was cited by the Federal Aviation Administration administration in 2015 for breaking visual flight rule minimums. Island Express also had an FAA certificate that only allowed its pilots to fly with visual flight rules and not in conditions that required using instruments. The lawsuit is accusing this company of not providing pilots with enough training and supervision after the 2015 sighting to make sure it did not happen again. The company which sees operations after the crash promoted and engaged in unnecessary and needlessly risky means of transport under the circumstances. The complaint reads, it also did not have an adequate safety policy for cancellation of flights and to known unsafe weather conditions. Another portion of the lawsuit points out that Island Express never installed terrain awareness warning systems, which would have warned Zobayan that he was nearing a hillside. The FAA does not require the system, although the NTSB has recommended the system in the past. This lawsuit states that the Bryant's deaths were a direct result of the negligent conduct of Zobayan. Bryant and Gianna were honored with a celebration of life memorial at the Staples Center Monday, where Vanessa said, and I quote, God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to him together. Babe, you take care of our Gigi and I got Nadi, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you. May you both rest in peace and have fun in heaven forever and always. Mommy. Our prayers are going up.
Wait, hold up. Guess who's having a shirt sale, y'all? TalkYoShirt.com. All the shirts are on clearance to make room for some new designs, so get them while you can. There's only a limited inventory, okay? The shirts have some positive messages, and most importantly, you'll be supporting a small black business. As you can see, the shirts are prepackaged and ready for shipment. There's no waiting around. You will definitely receive your tracking number within 2 to 24 hours. Guaranteed. There's no playing with your orders, okay? So what are you waiting for? Shop at www.talkyoshirt.com. That's T-A-L-K. Y-O-S-H-I-R-T dot com. Petsyblog.com signing off.